Hello, uh, my name is Anand. In this uh, Cisco networking training program, I will be discussing in brief about the Cisco routers and also I will be discussing about how to install this packet tracer and uh, how to basically set up three routers for our lab work. Okay, first of all, uh, let me brief about the Cisco's infrastructure. So Cisco's infrastructure is basically supporting three layers. That is the access layer, the distribution layer and the core layer. See from the bottom, access layer we contain, this contain about switches. Okay, uh, so that is a part of uh, access layer. And in the distribution layer, you have a, uh, which is also a part of your network layer. You can see about the routers, the circle one, which is there, uh, which is routers. And in the core layer, you can see a kind of uh, layer three managed switches, uh, or uh, that is the core layer. So we also call this as L3 switches layer 3, core layer. Okay, yeah, now let me uh, explain about the Cisco uh, router, first of all. Later on, I'll be explaining about uh, Cisco switches also. So here, when I say about routing, routing is nothing but the interconnecting between two or more networks. So the internetworking is the main, uh, what we call as the feature inside this router carries network protocols and functions, connects at high speed traffic between the devices, adds security to control access, uh, provides a scalability to growth, for growth and also it supplies the reliability. So today uh, Cisco routers are very well known for uh, various kind of activities, especially used in uh, the networking backbone in data centers. Okay, so now basically when you see any Cisco router standard, okay, especially for uh, CCNA, uh, we need to learn about this 1841 or 2811 switches, uh, sorry, routers. So these uh, routers, you can see the uh, rear panel, I mean backside panel. Please understand this one in the rear panel. Uh, what you can see is like you have the power control in the last and with on-off switch and you see various kind of ports which are there. So uh, this is called the yellow one which is called as the console port uh, which is used for the first time to configure. Okay, you can see here also the console port which looks exactly like RJ45, but it is a serial port in this one. Okay, please understand. So we have a blue cable to connect the console, which is uh, similar to RS232. And next one is uh, uh, auxiliary port. Uh, auxiliary is mainly connected to the modem, uh, which is through RJ45, kind of uh, modem uh, telecommunications where you can have a remote access. These two are the preliminary, preliminary access of uh, the router. And the other things which you have is uh, Ethernet. You, can, you have uh, uh, ports like Ethernet or maybe fast Ethernet. Nowadays, we have this Giga Ethernet which are coming across, uh, the, uh, which where you can connect your LAN uh, from the Ethernet. Normally, for every routers, you have two uh, Ethernet ports. And then next is uh, you have serial ports, serial ports. You can see it, uh, serial one, serial two, you can see the slot. This is a kind of serial where you can connect your WAN ports to a remote distance. So this is in brief, brief. I'll have a separate video of the live of Cisco routers, how it looks like in a separate one, right? So now every uh, device, when it power on, we have a session called as power on self test. So exactly the same Cisco routers also contain an operating system which is called as internet working operating system. Please remember, it's not iPod operating system, iOS is internet working operating system. And let me explain about how the hardware, how, where the operating system resides. We have a flash memory. Once you open the router, you have a flash memory. We don't have a hard disk inside the Cisco router, where you can have your operating system. And also your configurations which are there are stored in the non-volatile RAM, NVRAM. It is different than SDRAM. SDRAM is the mainly used for the main memory. When you switch off, it is volatile. But here this is non-volatile. All your configurations are stored in NVRAM, non-volatile RAM. Please uh, remember that this is very, very important uh, for understanding about iOS. Operating system resides in the flash memory. Okay your uh, configurations, all your stored configuration store in NVRAM and then the other thing which is in SDRAM. So once you power on, normal uh, basic uh, setup will be there and then uh, you can have access to this uh, command line interface also which I will be showing you. 
So most of our lab experiments, we do it in command line mode. Even we do have in advanced routers, a kind of graphical Java console, which is also called a security device manager. Okay. So this is also a new protocol, I mean SDM on top of the iOS operating system, where you can have even Java console also. I'll be showing in one of the lab, how you can access the SDM. Okay, so yeah, uh, I will first uh, brief about uh, uh, the uh, installation of Packet Tracer and then I will be discussing about the modes and the prompts and also the configuring for the first time router. Uh, okay, so let me quickly proceed to uh, the installation part. So I have downloaded already this uh, Packet Tracer. You can use 6.2 or 7.2, 7.3, even you have 8 version also. Uh, it is available in number of websites you can even download packettracer.com right uh, that is uh, almost free for the student version so here what i'm going to do i'm just installing this uh, cisco uh, for packet tracer 2 uh, 6.2 for windows student edition you can have the latest one also but for our requirement this is enough so just install on windows system it is free of cost so it is again I say Cisco packet tracer is directly from Cisco. Right. Give all standard options, default options, just say install. It will take a couple of minutes to get all the things installed. And once you install and from version 7 onwards, you may be asked for registration. So but 6.2 may not ask you the registration. So it will directly start the console. Okay. So installation is done. So automatically the launch can also happen. Yeah, this is how we launch this uh, packet tracer and almost believe me, all the exercises we can do on this uh, Cisco packet tracer. Okay. So this is the main dashboard. I'm just showing you. Like you have this uh, file menu, edit menu, options which are self-explanatory and also view, uh, tools, extension and of course help. When you say about, it will tell you what version it is, 6.2. Okay. The main components are, see here the same one is here, new, open, save, all these components are there here also, more or less the same. So bottom pane, this is the one which we really need and also the side one, the side one which is also the side rear, okay. So now, uh, like you can see here at the bottom, please understand, these are very, very important. Uh, like you see this one, the first one is routers. Once you click this one, you see several uh, routers which are there, several routers which are there. So you can see uh, whichever router which you want, you can select which are for our exercise in build routers. And next one is switches. You see, please understand the infrastructure first. So these are all the switches we can use. Normally we use this 2950, uh, which is a layer to switch or uh, you can also use 3550. This is a layer 3 switch, this one. 2950 or 2960 is all layer to switches which are there. We will learn. Okay. And now these are hubs which we may not really use much. And you can see these are the wireless devices where you have. And of course, so these are the connections which are there. You have various type of connections. You have cross cable, copper cable and also LAN cable, WAN cable, coaxial. Many type of cables are available here. Straight cable, cross cable, etc. And now, when I click this end devices, end devices are like your uh, desktops, laptops, servers, of course, your IP ports, and of course, many other devices which are there, which contains your network port. Now, security, this is a firewall, ASA firewall 5505 is inbuilt in 6.2 version. Okay, this is a WAN emulation. So now, uh, this is a custom made where you can configure your own and multi-user connection. So these are the main things which are there. So first of all, let me uh, take up a router, take up a router. You can either take up a generic router or you can take up a, a customized router which are there. There are two generic routers which are there where you can customize yourself. Or you can even take 2811 router also. We can uh, have that one. So let me take a generic router. So just click this one, drag. That's all. So here, when you place your mouse cursor, it will display the configuration. You see this one? It has two fast Ethernet, two serial ports. No, sorry, four fast Ethernet and two serial ports. Serial 2, serial 3 is mainly used for wide area networks. Whereas your fast Ethernets are used for 
locally related. So now what is my configuration is that uh, I will set up a router for each and every location. Each and every location. I primarily I will set up three routers. I will select the same one in three locations. I mean that I want to basically communicate three different locations of my network. So here let me name the, uh, I can also name this particular tag. Uh, suppose if I say this is, I can say uh, New Delhi. Okay. And uh, this one I can say London or I can say my office is there at Singapore. Still more you can extend like that. Still more you can, you can tag it accordingly by using this. Uh, name name tag okay so now i have a location now what i'm going to do i'm extending my network using uh, what we call as uh, switches locally the network so i'm just dragging a 2950 switch if you want you can have more switches like this just drag and drop just drag and drop. it's very simple to have okay so just drag and drop you can have switches like this you have now and next is uh, what you can do is you can add even any devices any devices means like your systems laptop desktop maybe a server or something like that so the more and more devices you add the more and more you need to do the configuration okay that's fine so i'm just dragging all the information so my new delhi location has a router with switches and of course the infrastructure configured. now i need to connect this so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a copper straight cable, connect this laptop to fast ethernet to a switch port. You have 24 ports in this one, remember that. So I'm connecting, this is a cable, straight cable which you are doing. Okay, same thing here also, connect to this switch. This is done. If you want to configure this switch to a server, to this particular one, you can do. What you can do is that you can connect these two switches also, but remember, Connecting these two switches require a cross cable. It's not straight cable, cross cable. So I'm connecting a cross cable from 24 port to another 24 port. This is done. And now I can also connect from one of the switch to the router. So I'll take a straight cable. What I'm going to do, I'm just connecting this one to a fast ethernet as you can see. So my network is almost ready. You can see the green means it is uh, communicating, but this has not yet communicated. We will, we will do that. So here, I am just connecting to the master thing. Same thing from here to the switch to the router, I am connecting a straight cable. Same to the other network also. Please practice. You will really, uh, you can really do fast. So now, you are connected. Your local area network at each location is ready. If more systems needs to be added, you can add. Very well. So now what we need to do from a New Delhi to London, we require a wide area network connection. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a serial DC. This is serial. So here I have clicked, I selected the serial and now from New Delhi, I can select the serial 2 by 0. This is a remote WAN connection. You see this one, this uh, WAN connection to serial 2 by 0. Just remember this one, what all uh, uh, is the interfaces. If you don't remember, you can just place it over there. You will really just place the cursor over there. You will get it here also. Whatever is that interface, you will know. We need to know while configuration. Okay. So now, similarly, from London to Singapore also, I am connecting a wide area network interface. Serial 3 to Serial 2. I have no other option here. Both the serial ports are used now. So my more or less my connection diagram is ready. Is ready. I can, what I can do is I can write a diagram of my client or whatever it is. This is my uh, client information, my network. Okay, I can say my network, whatever it is. My network, right? So now we are ready with the, the three routers diagram. Please save this one. Please save this one. File, save as. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I will save all the information in uh, one of the uh, folder, maybe new folder. Uh, what I can do is CCNA lab exercises. So this is a uh, three router, three R, that's all. 
Done. Fantastic. I'm just closing this one. Okay. I'm just closing this one. I want to show you whether how to open back again. CCNA lab exercises. So this one, just click this. You should be able to open this uh, three routers lab exercise. Yes. Fantastic. You can see this one. In my next lab, I'll be showing you uh, basically how you have a first we need to understand about the router. Okay, router basic commands and then later we will learn about how you can uh, configure your interfaces. Once you have configured, we will also learn about the routing. Okay, so this is the agenda of our uh, what we call of our Cisco networking program. So practice couple of times to get uh, 3R. So uh, that's all from me for this lab exercise. Thank you and uh, bye.